Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to create an empty matrix using the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you an example and this example starts at line 2 of the code and in this line of code I'm using the matrix function to create our matrix object and within the matrix function we simply need to specify the number of columns and number of rows that we want to use and since we want to create an empty matrix we need to specify that the number of rows needs to be equal to zero. So in this case, I'm creating a matrix with three empty columns. So if you run line two of the code, you can see that a new matrix object appears at the top right of RStudio, which is called MyMat. And we can also have a look at this matrix by running line three of the code. And then you can see at the bottom of the RStudio console that our empty matrix is shown. So in other words, it shows the index positions of our columns, but no values are shown. So if we want, we can also modify the column names of our empty matrix using the call names function, as you can see in line five of the code. So within this line of code, I'm applying the call names function to our matrix that we have created before. And then I'm specifying to this the names that I want to use as column names in a vector of character strings. So here it is important that this vector of character strings has the same length as our number of columns. So in this example, we have created an empty matrix with three empty columns. And for that reason, our vector of column names also needs to have a length of three. So if we run line five of the code, our matrix is updated and we can have a look at our updated matrix by running line six of the code. And then you can see that our new empty matrix contains three column names, call one, call two, call three, but still no values. So in this video, I have explained how to initialize an empty matrix using the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code that I have shown in this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked this video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments or if you give me a thumbs up on the video and make sure to subscribe for more R programming tutorials in future. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.